Feels like a better one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good fish right there. It's time to do something that I've been waiting to do for a very long time, and that's to get back out and do some camping. What is going on everyone? So it's time to do something that I've been waiting to do for a very long time, and that's to get back out and do some camping. I'm very excited to actually be able to go back. I'm gonna be sleeping in my, my truck tent again. As you can see, I'm bringing my kayak this time too. So I'm very excited about that. And something else I'm very excited about, uh, last time when I went up to Boston, I was by myself. This time I won't be by myself. As you can see right here, my parents went ahead and got an RV. They rented it, they rented an RV, and they're gonna be coming with me on this trip. They got a good old mini Winnie. So how I wanna do this series is I wanna break it down into five different episodes at the five different stops we're camping at. So the first one today, where we're leaving our house and we're gonna be going to Camel Lake Campground. It's right outside of uh, Tallahassee. So it's only like a four and a half hour drive from here. So it's not too bad at all. We're gonna be there for two nights. There's a lake right there, and should be some good fishing and some good camping. So we're gonna get everything packed up, we're gonna take a shower, and then we're gonna head on the road. See you guys on the road. In three quarters of a mile, keep left onto <laughs> National Forest Road. To get to our first campsite, we have to drive like four or five miles on this dirt road in the middle of this national, oh Jesus, in the middle of this national forest. Pretty dark, but we made it. All right, here's my spot right here, number two, with the lake right there. You probably won't be able to see anything because it's getting too dark, but I'm gonna go ahead and set up the tent, take the kayak out, and I'll show you the whole setup and everything in the morning. Good morning, everyone. So currently it's about 7.15 in the morning. Slowly wake up and take in, take in the views. Take a look at this. So this is my Napier Backroads truck tent. I have a bunch of different sizes. You have to like look online to the different size truck beds that you have. And this one fits perfectly with my GMC Sierra. So then I got a sleeping bag because I got down to like the 40s last night. A couple blankets. Yeah, I got this air beds, air mattress. And it's specifically built, if you can see, it's got slots for the, the wheel wells specifically built to fit in the bed of a truck. It all perfectly comes together and makes a great setup. So this comes with a little rain fly. I usually put on anyway, just in case something happens. I always make sure I throw the rain fly on. It's a little more privacy because without it, it's just, it's just mesh and you can see right into it. So usually at night I throw that on anyway. I'm sorry we showed up a little late so you weren't able to see me set this up, but it literally takes me like less than eight minutes by myself to set up this tent. It's incredibly simple. You'll see it again in some upcoming videos and when I take it down, how easy this whole tent and setup is. where this is gonna take us. Well, we can always just turn around. 
this little cove back here looks like it's kind of protected from the wind. How they're not just deer munching on all this. Also, you can tell the water is high when the trash cans are in the water. I see like little tiny bluegill. I mean, there's obviously bass in here if they have the sign. Yeah, I feel like I could catch something out of here. I got my 2500 sustained on this two piece ugly cigar that I picked up before my North Carolina trip. And on there, I should probably show you, I got a wacky rig Sanko. Let's see how this works. The cats are right up here on the, the bank. Talking with the campground host, she also told me how there are two alligators that they know of in here. So we'll see if we can run into these guys. This is my first time ever like bass fishing from a kayak. Like especially in Florida, I've never done this. Oh, there we go. Got one. What is this? Is this a bass? Yep, little bass. How you doing, dude? Come here. There we go. First bass of the day. There we go. It's like a little one pounder. Awesome. Get a release on him. See you, dude. Oh, thanks. Got him. Oh, it's a decent one. Hey there, dude. Another, like, pound. There we go. All right, see you, dude. Well, that's a good one. No! No! Dang it, that was a good one. Got one that time. All right, see you little dude. Got one. Well, I like these like small bass in here, I guess. See you dude. Got a fish. There we go. Same size bass again. See you, dude. 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 I hooked one that was pretty decent, but I never got to see it before it popped off. But I got a ton of those little, like, not even one pounders. Morning everyone, so morning of day three right now. Last night I was just falling asleep to like the sound of owls and frogs and bugs and all sorts of things and it's just so cool. Also, the lake looks freaking awesome right now.
this is cool. Wow. This is one of the coolest things I've done in a while. Out on this beautiful lake, early in the morning, a lot of fog on it, owls yelling at each other. Hopefully catch some big bass. Early morning, I gotta try a frog. See what I can get on this. Got him there. Oh yeah. Choke that frog. Look at that frog right down his throat. There we go. See the little dude. Look at that. That's so cool. Feels like a better one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's a much better one. There we go. That's a good fish right there. Absolutely crushed the wacky rig Sanko. He inhaled it. There we go. Yeah, that's a good fish right there. Awesome. See you, dude. I've actually been in contact with Napier for the past couple weeks and they've actually hooked me up with a 50% off uh, online order purchase and I want to give that to my subscribers so I'm going to do like a little giveaway kind of thing where if you're interested in this 50% off uh, discount code that I have all you have to do is make sure you're a subscriber and comment in these videos. I'm gonna post a couple different videos. I'm thinking five different videos, one for each stop on this trip. And what I'm gonna do is, you're allowed to comment once on each video, and each one counts as an entry. And all you have to comment is what you would use the 50% off discount to buy on the Napier website. So all you have to do is make sure you're a subscriber and comment what you would buy with the 50% off discount. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna randomly select one of the five videos from this trip, and then use a random number generator, and then find a random comment from that video. And whoever that is wins the 50% off. So if you want the best chance, make sure you can comment on each one of the videos what you would buy with this 50% off discount. Got everything packed away, now we're gonna head back out on the road and head toward our next stop at Payne Lake over in Alabama. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That would mean a lot to me. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.